O, uh, Orchard Diary, Memorial Day 2010, greetings from Happy Dog Farm. It is sunny and clear, thermometer says it's around 80, and I need to show you the almost insane flip side of my water problem. I have flooding half the year, and I have virtual drought the other half of the year. So I am putting in a drip irrigation system. And I just uh, finished three rows and ran it using a um, small portable pump off of Murphy and water cans. And it seems to work pretty darn well. So I just want to again, give you an idea of what it looks like. And, uh, well, I hope it all works out. As you can see, I have a black pipe running one foot, uh, 18 inches, above the ground below on each of the trellis lines. Now, on each side of the tree, outwards, I have an emitter. So there's two emitters per tree. Each emitter is doing one gallon per hour. They're pressure compensating, so that's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about the pressure messing up the flow rate. And the idea is to water the tree, but also to draw the roots out away from the trunk a bit. Um, if I go too far out with the soil I have here, I'm not terribly confident the water is going to get to the tree. So there's that. Um, I can always add more emitters or change the size of the emitters. The emitters are held to the wire with those cute little clips and I'm finding out I need a lot more clips and I have plenty right now but as the hot sun hits the water weighted flexible pipe it wants to get dippy on me. And you can probably see some dippy going on over here. Dippy dippy. More dippy dippy. So a little dippy's fine, too much dippy kind of leaves me pause, so I'm trying to um, mitigate that when I'll add more clips. Um, coming down here, each line has its own valve, and then it adapts to what we here call normal pipe thread. Now, on the end of that normal pipe thread, I have a garden hose adapter, which so I can run a hose from my little portable pump to run the lines individually. Uh, tomorrow, while I'm doing more rows, I'm going to get a Y gate, or W gate, and I'm going to hook up three lines and get one more of those, some more of those little adapters, so I can run all three of these rows at once while I'm pulling more high tensile wire and more tubing and getting more work done. Um, that'll help me get some of my watering done. My, I'm, I'm hoping to say if I do at least a gallon a day, that should be enough. Um, if not, I run it up a little bit. But I also use that water temp water gauge, the moisture gauge, and I check at the roots to see. Now, when I checked these the other day, they were a little dry. So hopefully this will help deal with that. Anyway, drip irrigation. The question for the day is, this is what a garden hose connector looks like in the United States. Um, if you're someplace else, what does the garden hose connector there look like? Kind of curious if it's universal or if it's a North American thing. All right, take care. Have a good Memorial Day. Be beat those swords into plowshares, I beg you.